Zambia is in the process of getting aid from the International Monetary Fund, IMF, as part of government's new drive to sustain the economy. The Minister of Finance has come up with its new economic recovery plan, dubbed Zambia Plus, aimed at promoting budget integrity and broadening the tax base, among others. Members of the public have been given an opportunity to add their voice on the proposed measures before the country finalizes its talks with the Washington DC-based lender. On Thursday, the Civil Society for Poverty Reduction invited various stakeholders to a public discussion at the Copper Belt University in Kitwe, and on the table was whether the country should get the IMF bailout or not. The Center for Trade Policy and Development and others were for the idea that the country gets the bailout to boost the economy. A good option not in that it's the best solution, but in the given circumstances, it is actually one option that can help Zambia to begin the process to recover. But in terms of us having a lasting solution, there are certain measures that we have been uh, advancing to the ministry, and some of the measures that have been advancing from the civil society are bordering around broadening our. Others were too cautious with the idea of the bailout. They felt that government needs to be firm and ensure that there are no conditionalities attached to the aid. We are all wishing for a changed IMF. Seriously speaking, in regard to how cautious we should be re-engaging the IMF, should not essentially be a changed or transformed IMF, but rather a changed or converted Zambia that learns from its past mistakes. They have got more money in their pockets more money than they have ever had before. And we are talking about millions of citizens, not a, a, a small elite. So, for me, that is the question. Why are we looking to the IMF and not to China? But having said that, China is not necessarily panacea. In the final analysis, development comes from within. You have to start it yourself. And if you are not... Uh, playing the leading role, if you are expecting a miracle from overseas, it won't happen. For Copper Belt University students, the issue of the bailout plan is non-negotiable. They do not want it. My conclusion is that uh, I think that Zambia has got anything it needs to develop without the help of the IMF. Let us look at this. Zambia has got all the good things of water policy in house, implying that Each and every household has got its principles, its values, and its unique uh, problems they have. And as a country, we are like that household, they say. And uh, it would be unwise for us to look into somebody else's household to come and solve our own problems. IMF does not understand the things that we are going to. A team of IMF officials was recent in the country to discuss the country's economic situation. The final decision of whether to get a bailout or not is expected in the coming months. Paul Shadala, ZNBC News in Kitwe.